Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video. It's gonna be a rather quick one uh, because maybe you can see I'm sitting on a chair, I'm sweating, like my hair is all, it's all, I sweat. I don't feel too well the last few days. I can't think too much. That's why I gotta make a quick one and not really new content, nothing extremely complicated, but something really useful, I would say, right? So something really useful called um, overlapping access. We'll see a problem. I will show you a problem that occurs a couple of times in your programming career. Definitely, uh, you will see it. Definitely, you've seen it already as a beginner, definitely. Uh, and then you could use cross references to actually tackle that problem, but would, that will not help in this case. Um, we will need a higher step, one higher level to cross references. So let's see. Let's see. So this is a little bit more advanced, but still, if you've heard about it, it's nice. If you're a beginner, just watch it. And, and yeah, I've heard about this. Oh, this could help. <laughs> if you're experienced, this will definitely help you. Um, yeah, we have a rather simple program. This one here. I have an input connected to I00. I've got an output connected to Q00. Right. I've got my simulation running here. So if I hit the input, this one here, if I activate it, the bit, boop, you see the program reacts. The input is active, meaning the normally open contact closes and we have a signal at the output bit. You can see the output bit is active here, output 00, this one, which is very strange because in my simulation, this is what the, the PLC output would look like right now. Output bit Q00, so exactly this one here is false. That's strange. I can see it's on in the program, right? I can see it's on in the program. This could have now two possible reasons. The first reason is that the program is not being executed. That could be because the function is not being called. Not the case. We're having this program right now in the main function. So not the case, not being called. Uh, it could also be that the PLC is in stop, right? Then the program is not being called, right? So I can, uh, I can make changes here, but you see the program doesn't change anymore. I can see that right now it's in stop but no the program is in run the run led is green so the program is definitely running right so the that's the first thing that the program is not being executed but it is i can see it it changes state when i do this the second thing it could be that this bit the value is being overwritten at a later point in time so what i have built is a simple program so this is network one in network two some random stuff happens we have a function with the random stuff in there and that's the whole program Right? So it could be that this output bit is being overwritten in random stuff. So in your whole other networks, hundreds and hundreds of networks possibility. In this case, that is the only re possible solution or it's being overwritten by one networking device or so, but that's a total different case. Um, so yeah, that is the only possible solution that we have, that it's being overwritten. For this being overwritten state, usually you would check, hey, it's on, but in my output it's not on so it's got to be overwritten um usually you would use the cross references so down here in your inspector window in info cross references here i could see the output bit is being used in the main function and it's being used in network one and it's being written so this bit is only used once it's only used here so it's not being overwritten later on that is really strange huh what i said is partly correct it is still being overwritten what is not being overwritten is the variable we're not using this variable again so the variable is called output bit we're not using this variable again right? this tag we're not using this tag again what we could use is still this area of memory q00 we could still use the q00 at another point and exactly that is an overlapping um access that exactly is an overlapping access. It could be that we are using output byte zero. Output byte zero includes output bit 0, 0.0. That would be an overlapping access. If we are resetting output byte zero, we are also resetting output bit 0, 0.0. The one is laying a little bit higher, right? <clears throat> I will visualize it in a second. Uh, so how do we find out? Of course, right now I only have like one one network in here or two networks. Uh, so could find out manually, but we have a function in TIA portal for this. You can right click on the bit or tag or whatever. Yeah, on the tag that you're searching for and the bit and integer or whatever. And then there is cross reference information. That's the one down here. This is this one here. 
This doesn't help because that's just the cross references. What we want is the cross references, not the cross reference information, but the cross references, right? Uh, you can also access this by clicking on top here. There's a cross references right there. Oop, same thing. You just need to select the variable and then cross references, or you select the variable and you hit F11. Right? All these ways. So, what we can see here now is basically the, exactly the same that we have done here. That's just the cross reference table. What we can add to this cross reference table is the so called overlapping access. Right? But at first, I want to see, I want to check. Does this have overlapping access? If I now click on this little um, magnifying glass here, check for overlapping accesses, I can see how oh, output bit is, it has overlapping accesses. Sorry, I cannot zoom in here. That's just TL portal doesn't let me. So we have those overlapping accesses there. Oh, that's interesting. If I now select here, show me those overlapping accesses, boop, you will open this list here. You can also close the list just by pressing this button. And now in this list, you see all the places where this bit could be overwritten, right? And that means the, the address of it. Something is overlapping, something is above this. So in our case, we have output byte. We have another tag called output byte, and that is output byte zero. Of course, output byte zero includes output bit 0, 0.0. Oh, and this one is being used in fc1 in random stuff and it's being written so if i click on this it brings me to the place where i use it so you can see here we are putting in a zero into our output byte zero effectively overwriting output bit zero zero output bit zero one output zero two and so on and so on um let's see that how it looks like to visualize it a little bit i add this output byte to my simulation here Right? And I can open this. I can open this byte. Right? And in this byte, we have bit 00, bit 01, bit 02, 03. All of these are overlapping. Right? They are overlapping. They could have their own variable, their own tag like this one. But still, this one here is on top of it. So output bit is included in the byte. We have to be very careful. Stuff like this you usually do when you have like a reset function. You have 20 lights, 20 outputs, 20 motors, or in this case, eight motors, and you all want to reset them at one specific point in time when you press a stop button, emergency stop or so. Then you would have an output byte that includes all the digital outputs for the motors. So you have eight individual motors, all these, right? And you have one overlapping, a bigger one, that includes all the smaller pieces, right? All eight single motors are together in this. That's usually even taking a bit further, so we can also have an overlapping access. Let's see this byte, right click, cross references, overlapping access, oh, it has one, oh, there. So the bit is in there, but also the word. So also output word zero includes output by output word zero uh, output byte zero and output byte one so it's also overlapping on all 16 bits there right yeah <clears throat> as i said this is a little bit advanced um but definitely useful when you are searching for errors in your program because in the beginning you will work a lot with the um, cross-reference information that just shows you hey where do you use this tag which is not always the ultimate thing. Sometimes you have to go cross references and go to the overlapping access, which is the highest level. I would now have to fix this and I know, hey, this random stuff, uh, actually this overrides everything, so I'll delete it. <laughs> my case right now, my fix to my program, hey, that would work. And now I can also find right click cross references. Do I have overlapping accesses? Oh, I still have some. Oh, they're still in random stuff because the function is still there. <laughs> I just deleted the function. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't delete functions. I know. <clears throat> Let's see. Right click, cross references, and it's not being, it's still in the variables. Okay, it's still in the variables, but those variables are not being used, right? The tags are not being used. So, very simple, very quick video. Sorry uh, that I haven't been really uploading a lot of new, a lot of original, a lot of high tech contents. 
uh, but I'll definitely do that in the future. You know it. <laughs> You've been here for long enough to know it. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> let me just get some rest. It's also freaking hot. It's today was 40 degrees Celsius outside. 40 degrees Celsius. That's and we don't have air conditioning in Germany. We don't have a lot. <laughs> I mean, hotels and stuff has it, but not usually in a flat where you live. Yeah, that's how it is, man. That's how it is. Good, great. Um, yeah, overlapping access. And there you go. Pretty simple stuff, but difficult to not difficult to use, but difficult to know when you need it. Right? This is just experience stuff. It's good if you've already heard about it. Uh, yeah. If this was any helpful, uh, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. Just say hi. Um, and you could toss some coins my direction if you want to. There's a link in the description below. There you go. A GoFundMe. Link in the description below. You can click on donate now if you want to, but don't need to, right? As always. Um, yeah. I hope you're all safe out there. I hope you're all healthy. Uh, if it's that way, stay that way. If it's not, then please get back to your maximum health. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you next time around. Bye-bye.